It's wow factor, uh, and uh, hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Jazzwares action figure review on the Jazzwares Fortnite video game legendary series Rabbit Raider. If you're to pick up your Fortnite figures, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And thanks so much to Jazzwares for making this review possible and sending out these samples my way. I greatly appreciate it. If you want to see the latest from Jazzwares, check the link in the description below. And this looks very cool already. From what I understand, these are all sculpted by the legendary Dave Cortez, who used to work on Toy Biz Marvel Legends, so I'm very, very interested. Anyway, we get a ton of accessories right here. You can see on the packaging it says Legendary Series. And then on the side right over here it says Fortnite. And then on the back you can see the Rabbit Raider, and then there's some other figures, which I will be reviewing later on. And then you can see it says Fortnite, there's the Rabbit Raider. Love that you get that gold right there for the Legendary Series. But there's not much more at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the Rabbit Rabbit Raider out of the packaging and a pretty interesting looking skin over here. Not that weird, I guess, especially compared to Cuddle Team Leader. But I like what I'm seeing so far over here. Man, I'm happy to see good articulation on this Jazzwares figure. But anyway, we get a great number of accessories for this piece. So let's take a closer look at those and then we'll take a closer look at Rabbit Raider. You can see that we get these two different bombs or this is a bomb and this is a canister. We get the gun right over here and then we get the pickaxe or I guess this like little bunny basket right over here and then we get the egg or the backpack and then we get three different interchangeable faces and they all look great I like this ski mask one right here so that looks really cool I really dig that quite a bit nice clean paint apps and then you have uh, the unmasked version right here which looks like Jonesy I guess like the default avatar or uh, skin is just Jonesy right I don't know and then you have this look right this Christmas story head sculpt right over here which I like dig that smirk nice clean paint with sunglasses translucent plastic over there and everything so that's cool now I like how you swap these faces out out. Very much reminds me of like an SH Figure Arts figure. You just plop it onto the front half right there, and there you go. So that's cool. Uh, here's looking at the you know Jonesy looking one. You just plop that on. Doesn't look too bad. And then you get the hoodie, so you could go ahead and plop that right over all of that. So that's cool. Uh, you get the backpack right here. Nice clean paint apps on this egg. I like it. And whoop, dropped it. But you could just port it into the back of the figure like so. And then you get the gun with this nice wash, which adds a lot of depth to this thing. You know, it makes it look very realistic in this non-realistic kind of place. You know, so that's pretty cool. I like that. And then looking at the basket right over here, you can see a carrot at the end of it and the rope tied all around right over here. You get the chocolate bunny melting onto the basket. That's really cool. And then you get the grapes in there, and it looks like there's some flowers and things and some eggs. And then you get the bow right over there up top. So that's dope, man. And then these canisters right here, there's a slit on the side, and I do not know where that's supposed to go. Ah, the hand, that's where it should go, right? Yeah, it looks like that fits right into the hand right here. So there you go. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's a little bit loose, but you know, if you clamp that down, it makes it easier for him to hold this. So that works out okay. We get this little grenade right over here. I called it a bomb earlier, but but yeah, this looks like a grenade, so that's pretty neat too. All right, I went with the hockey mask look instead, which I really like a lot, but I love that we get this nice texturing throughout on the suit. You get the soft material right over here for the hoodie, which I really like, by the way. And you can see in the inside of the bunny ears right there, it's all painted white. You can see how it's got that fluffy texturing, even though this is made out of plastic and it's not actually fluffy, but yeah, you can see that texturing and then there's a seam coming down the middle right over there. Uh, the strap going around him looks really good. I like the silver paint. Nice details right there. We have these egg grenades looking really good. I like the zipper coming down the middle. Looks pretty nice. And yeah, again, we get this texturing throughout on the whole figure. I guess not in the joints, so that's just a little bit of a gripe. But I do like that we have this added bit of white on some parts of the figure. It's very tricky to see, but you can see it on the elbows, and we'll see it again on the knees later on. So that's cool. Plus, we get the dirt right around the hands, so that's nice looking. I dig that. So that's pretty cool. It changes things up just a little bit, so it's not just all one solid pink. But I wish we had a little bit more of the white, and I like how you can see it right here on the knees right here. So I don't know, maybe on the belly or something like that would have been cool to see, but I like how we have this little piece right here on the side and nice paint right there for the strap. I like how the texture changes just a little bit for that strap right there, so that's cool. And he has a little bunny tail, 
Not looking too bad, bunny butt right there, and then looking at the legs, it'll look pretty good, and I love these slippers right here, that looks awesome. <laughs> I don't know why, I just want to get these for my daughter really bad. So anyway, uh, yeah, I got nice little touches of black paint right there, and then some dirt right there on the sides and everything from running around, you know, building forts at night, I guess. But anyway, he has peg holes at the bottom of his feet. So we get great articulation on this figure, and it's kind of a trip because it kind of does remind me of the Toy Biz days, but things have definitely been modernized over here. But anyway, you can move the head up very far, we get a disconnect in the neck so that's great and he will look down that much you get side to side motion and uh, no real head pivoting we do have shoulder joints right here butterfly joints that move forward and back a little bit so that is cool and you get shoulder joints that move all the way up which is awesome and they don't move as close to the figures I'd like it to you know I wish they could move inward just a little bit more now you get a bicep swivel double jointed elbows and then the wrist turns side to side and they hinge up and down a little bit hindered by the cuffs right over here and then we get finger clamping action which we have haven't seen in action figures. I can't remember seeing this in action figures since the Toy Biz Marvel Legends days. So that makes me happy to see. Then we get the diaphragm joint right here. You get some diaphragm pivoting. He crunches forward a bit and back. We also get a waist swivel right there. And then hips move outward that far and he can kick forward only that much. I wish we got a little bit more range of movement there. Uh, back a little bit, upper thigh cut, double jointed knees. Then the ankles can rotate side to side. You can bend them down and up and we do get beautiful ankle pivot. And I measure out this Rabbit Raider figure, you can see that he's standing just a little over six inches tall. I guess at the top of the ears, it's just under six and a half inches. And then for a Jazzwares figure comparison, here's the Fortnite Rabbit Raider next to the last six inch scale Jazzwares articulated figure that I picked up, Space Ghost. And I don't know why my review of this figure got deleted from YouTube. I have no idea why, but I did review this some years back. And yeah, huge improvement with this figure compared to this one right over here. Oh my God, drastic improvement. And then to compare Rabbit Raider next to another fully articulated Fortnite figure, we have the McFarlane Toy. Boys cuddle team leader and yeah they are not in scale together at all uh, there's like a whole inch difference right over here so you're looking at seven inch scale and this is your six inch scale and then here's rabbit raider next to your average six inch scale figure we have the marvel legends big time letdown spider-man and i'm sorry again you guys no stop motion it will return just be patient but anyway uh, you can see how this is a bit shorter than your average six inch scale marvel legend figure if you want it to work in a legends display i think it can still work it's just a little on the short side so what can i say man i think they've done a fantastic job over here. This figure actually makes me very, very happy to see, just to see Jazzwares take things to another level over here, and I think it looks great, man. I love the articulation on this. I'm stoked about them adding detailed paint apps throughout, and the sculpt looks great. So, yeah, all the thing, and we get a lot of accessories as well. So I'm not huge into Fortnite, but I do think this is a great looking figure, and really fun to pose and play around with. So, at the price point of $20, I'm giving this thing a sub rating of... I love it! And I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comments section below. Hit the like button if you liked this video, and don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. And a big thanks to all these people over here that support this YouTube channel on Patreon. If you're interested in the daily updates and a chance to win some free figures, check out the link in the description below. And they still count as free, even though you're on Patreon because I pay for shipping. I don't ask the patrons to pay for shipping, I cover that. But anyway, if you're interested, link below. If you want to see the latest in action figure news, check out ToyNewsEye.com. And don't forget to follow me over on the social media on Instagram, Twitter, Twitter, and Stardust. Links to everything I talked about in the description below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.